Hello, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, in the previous episode, we left off um, just after Sir Divish had managed to uh, persuade Sigismund's hordes not to attack Tornberg. And we've got... Um, we are looking towards burying our parents in Scalets, talking to Sir Robard, and an optional objective of getting a horse. So, um, we're not going to talk to Sir Robard just yet, because we we want to try and maximise our chances of getting out of the castle. Um, so, first of all, we want to wait for that debuff from just waking up to run out. And we're going to see what we can do about getting a horse. Um, we don't want to steal one. That'd be kind of silly with the uh, the character type that we're playing. But um, let's see if we can figure out how we can get one. That's uh, Divish's horse. It's Robot's horse. That'd be certainly nice to get one of them. Um, I wonder if Divish... No, he was told by Radzig to... Uh, to keep us in the castle. Let's see what he's got to see if we can, we can't speak to him. Well, okay. I'm surprised we're not hungry, actually. Given the tape worms and everything. But we'll take it. Let's see what we can do out in Tomberg. Uh, maybe we should speak to Robard. It's probably the... Uh, I think it's the only option we've really got in terms of maybe getting out of the castle. I mean, we could run away. He just jumped down there, I guess, but... We'll see what Robard's got to say first, I guess. Actually, let's just... I think we've got some level-up points. Um, e do we? Yes, we do. Mm, I don't really want any of them perks. Um, I can't remember whether you can save them on this game, but I'm going to guess that you probably can. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can save that perk point for, uh, for when it's going to be actually useful. Because at the minute, it really doesn't seem like it is. Okay, um, I'm guessing that here on the map is Sir Robard. So let's go and see what he's got to say. Who is he? Villager. Are these all just villagers? It looks like it. Brigands. Combat arena, that could be useful to us. Be handy, you know, how to use a sword if we're going back to uh, Scalas. What have these villagers got to say? We can talk to them. A good day to you. What do you need? Um, I mean, I don't think we've got any any money or anything to sell, but is there a trader somewhere? Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? Aye, Votava, the pond keeper, is your man. He ought to be by the granary. At least that's the last place I saw him. Okay, and uh, about Sigismund's army? What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it's a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful unpredictable. He abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. Agreed. He's a crazy man. And Divish did do well, to be fair. He didn't bend the knee and he managed to get them to retreat, so... What more can we ask for? Where's the, uh, where's the granary? Is that, is that the granary there? Surely it's where all the, all the chickens are, then. Have you got anything different to say? God be with you. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votava is your man. He's the local dealer. A skinny fellow. I saw him by the granary. He'll buy anything that has any value, and he'd sell you his own granny if he hadn't already sold her long since. Good luck to you. Yeah, you too. Let's uh, let's see if we can find him then. Is that could that be him? Skinny fella. Yeah, that's him. Okay then, uh, Votava. Good day to you. Good day to you. Um, I don't know if I've got anything for you, but let's see. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. I probably haven't. I got zero money. Um, do we have anything that's worth giving to him? No. 
No, we don't. <laughs> I'd be kind of interested in, in the treasure map, but nowhere near enough money to buy it. So, uh, never mind. I guess we'll leave it for now. We could probably do with a wash. Can't afford the bathhouse, so... Trap's gonna have to do. Right, now we're then, um... Excuse me, love. Um... Robard. There he is. The old mustachy old brute. Um... Let's wait for them debuffs to, to wear off first. We'll go and get some breakfast. Uh, we're not hungry at the minute, though, which is, which is kind of weird. Um, can, can we have that cheese? Are they still letting us take stuff from here? Looks like they are. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's steel. Right, yeah, that's that's not. Whew. Nearly got into some trouble there. Well, we'll have, uh, we'll have some roast duck anyway. There we go. All right now, uh, by the time we get back to Robard, we should uh, we should have lost our debuffs. It looks like it's going to start raining again. Hello there, Robard. Uh, we there we go. Good day to you. Good day to you. Um, let's try and just make conversation with him first. So, uh, why did Sigismund raid Scallet? Why did Sigismund burn down Scallet and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Do you know what he's after? What happened in Kuttenberg? Kuttenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Yeah, probably because of the strategic position. I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications. So it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned oh, starting to rain. and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. And do you know anything about these Cumans? Where did these Cumans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Okay then, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Um. Oh, which one do we go for? I think he would, you know. I think he probably would. But he's all about orders, though. That's the thing. 
Um, but if that doesn't work, there's no way that the speech is, is going to work, I don't think. Let's, let's try that. It's a robot. My parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Piss to the lord. Do you know what, Robard? You're a crap knight. I'm going to Scallets. And we're not going to be able to get a horse unless we steal it, so... Probably it's not really good weather for a journey, though, I guess. But then when is it going to be good weather? Let's, uh... Well, we're going to have to walk, it looks like. Good day to you. Need to get out of here, mate. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate. And you especially are not to be let out. Um, we're going to try not to lie. Let's just see if you'll sympathise with us. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in a ship for it. Otherwise, forget it. Um, what are you got in mind? What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. Hmm. Good luck to you. I mean, this is kind of a, a bit of a dilemma because we don't really want to steal anything, but they're being pretty unreasonable, um, and I think this is where Henry's impulsive nature would be uh, foremost in his decision making. We're definitely not taking no for an answer, so it looks like we're going to have to go and get some gear off one of these uh, out one of these gatehouses or barracks or whatever you call them. Okay, um, we need all the gear though, where is, is it in that, I bet it's in that chest. Why can't I just take one of them helmets? I'm not lockpicking and stuff. See if we can get anything up here. We'll take one of the shields. Uh, we haven't even got a lockpick for that, so... Let's see if we can... Uh, get out of here without being seen. Is someone there? No. 
Just looking for the bathroom. I wonder if there's other places where we can find this armor other than in there. Maybe it's it's like in bits. We're not wearing that shield, oh no. Okay, good. You, you look a bit shady. Chamberlain. Huh? Are they annoyed at me or what? I, I don't even... I don't think so. Oh, Lady, um, Lady, what's her name? She'll probably help us. Where, where is she, though? I bet she's, um... Lady Stephanie, I think, or Stephanie, or whatever she's called. Um... She's been pretty friendly and quite understanding, and I bet she can get us some armor. Okay, let's see if we can get into, um... She's Divish's wife, isn't she? Now, he let us in here before. I don't think he's going to be very happy about us just snooping about. Um. Oh, what a surprise. What a brilliant surprise. Lady Stephanie. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? Fancy running into you here, my lady. Um. Yeah, go on. Let's let's not just go right out with it. Let's. Uh, what do you think about Sigismund's army? My lady. I hope you weren't unduly distressed by the arrival of Sigismund's army this morning. Well, it was to be expected. And thanks to God's mercy and my good husband, there was no more bloodshed. But it's something else that distresses me. Maybe my mind deceives me. But I have an evil foreboding. You, my lady? Surely not. No evil could possibly come to you. I fear something bigger and worse will come. That Sigismund is only another omen of imminent evil. Of great evil. <laughs> well, not not quite yet. Uh, of course you don't. So, um, let's see what she says to this. I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle. Your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? Um. Hmm. Let's try speech. My parents are lying in the mud of skulls at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But, but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, can you get us some armor then, please? It's kind of why I'm here. At the armory? What, yeah, but it's all locked up. In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Okay. Mm. I might have to pay a bribe. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money. Unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. Wow. Okay, well, that was easy. Um, Sure, what if they ask where I'm going? Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujit. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. Well, that sounds reasonable. Okay. Right, thank you. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. Um, well, we'll wait until we get the armor and we'll ask her that. Yeah, okay. Th thank you very much, Stephanie. We, uh, we will make this up to her, um, if we can. Oh, Dimish, I was, uh, yeah, go on. See your wife. Um, I guess that means... Okay. Any armor in here? 
What's that book? Oh, it's a, it's a pillow. Okay, um, I don't think we're going to find any armor in here. Although, there is a chest there. Is that a confession booth there? <laughs> Might be. It's easy again. See, we've got to... I don't think we're allowed to be in here, are we? Are we? Hello? Oh, we are. Well, okay, then. Don't mind if I just uh, go ahead and take a seat. So, the, there's a couple of different ways um, that we can we can probably do this. Um, the most honest way, ironically, is probably through a bribe. Um, Lady Stephanie gave us the money. The guard's willing to uh, to take a little bit of cash to let us out. Um, so, so I mean, maybe that's probably the, the most honest way to do it. However, the Lady of the Castle did technically give us permission to go and borrow some armour. So, I th and I think having some armour, especially in this weather, and with the dangers that are out there, is going to be probably the best way to... to to go about it. So, since we're allowed in here, then um, let's uh, let's have a little snoop around and see if we can see any armor knocking about. No, there's no armor in there. She said the soldiers um, sleep in various places throughout the castle. So let's see if we can find out where those places are. Oh, another gate that we need to lockpick. I, d I don't really want to go around lockpicking and, um, and stealing stuff, though, because it doesn't fit with the character. Um, so if we can't find the armor, then I think we just pay the bribe. Okay, I have been through every inch of this castle, and I cannot find any armor. So I think um, there is a door here, but it's locked as well. Though it is easy. At least the rain's gone off now. Um, yeah, I think, to be honest, it's not ideal going out there without any armor. But I think we're going to have to just pay the bribe. Okay, fella. Um, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. You here again, boy? Didn't I tell you how much trouble I'd be in if I let you of all people out? Oh. Oh, we don't even have the option to bribe him. <laughs> well, all right then. I guess we're going to have to... Uh, oh, it's raining again. I guess we're going to have to lockpick then. Or knock a guard out. But I think the uh, the lesser of two evils is lockpicking. And it's a bit disappointing that. I'd like it to be a, a way to get out without you being a... Uh, a rogue, but I guess it makes some sense. Let's uh, let's talk to him then. Well, fine. That's a sum I can live with. Okay then. Um. Well, I guess we'll try. Um. The thing is, if we if we go in that, we might have to unlock more than one chest. But. I don't think I've ever been in that tower up there. Let's uh, let's just see if we can open that door. Right, let's see if we can get this. Uh, see if we can get this door open. Um, I hope nobody can see us. I don't see anyone around here, so hopefully not. Right. Oh, am I? What's that about? Well, let's try and lockpick it then. Um, okay, so... Wow. That's... Well, this is going to be pretty much impossible with a control, I think. Yeah, no, I think we're going to switch to the uh, the old keyboard and mouse for this one. Uh, 
Um, okay, so we want to rotate lock with D and position the cursor with the mouse. Oh, oh, that was so close. Oh, come on. Oh, we did it. We did it. Wow. Well, it only took seven attempts. I hope to goodness there's some armor in here. Watch, I bet you there's nothing. <laughs> wow, that was a... Lock, I, we, I really need to get better at lockpicking in this game. I think at some point we need to do like a thief style playthrough and uh, make that like a central focus of the game to get a little bit better at it. Oh, don't tell me there was another way in. Oh, come on. There's nothing in here. <laughs> oh, man. What? Oh, wait. There's, a, there's another ladder that leads up. Right. Maybe there's something up here then. I hope so. Oh. Nobody. I just heard somebody say who's there. Oh, maybe there's a guard in here. Well, we're going to find out. I don't see anyone. There's a chest there. But it's locked. Probably should have bought more than one lockpick. And I hope we don't have to bribe him as well to get out, and that's going to cost, like... Oh, God, it is locked. Let's just see. There's another ladder leading up here. Let's just see if we can find one that isn't locked. Right, I don't know where that guard was, the new... Uh, who was asking who we were. Oh, another... They're all locked. Well... Okay, then I guess we're going to have to... I guess we're going to have to try and unlock this again, then. Oh, first goal. That was the first try. I wish I hadn't wasted a series of snaps on it now. Yes, little lock. My powers have doubled since we last met. Now. Yeah, there's still nobody looking at us. Now, please be armour in here. Oh, come on. The only bit we already had. Ah. <sighs> Well, I guess we're gonna have to un I guess we're gonna have to unlock another chest. <laughs> oh, that was another one first goal. Maybe I am getting the hang of this. Or maybe maybe my skill just raised or something, but that seems a lot easier. It's still kind of cheating to switch to the, the keyboard and mouse, I guess, but 
there's no way I'm going to be able to do that with a control. Not with the Xbox control. Maybe a 360 one, you'd have a bit of a chance, but... Oh, yes, please. Right, okay. Um, so, I guess we will steal all, then. Okay, well, now we're starting to look a little bit like a... Um, a Tomberg soldier, but not we're not in full armor yet. We need the, the um, greaves and the boots. Um, but I wonder if that's enough. Let's go and talk to Lady Stephanie again. Well, I mean, we could just go and talk to her there, but she's currently having dinner with Divish, which would be kind of suspect if we just rocked up there in Talmberg gear and Asta, so we're going to have to wait for it to be finished. In the meantime, I guess we'll uh, go and see if we can find some some boots. Oh, do we want to push this, though? Because if we lose the lockpick, how much gold do I have left? Okay, we do have enough to buy another lockpick if it breaks. So, I guess we're going to have to try it. I can hear it. I can hear a guard. Yeah, he's out there. Please just walk past the door, I think. Oh, I I think I'm getting the hang of this now. So you need to keep the um you need to keep the Hold on, I'll just rob this first. Oh man, it's the same stuff. Wow, so really I could have just unlocked this chest and had everything. I wonder if this is enough to uh, to get out then. Oh. That yeah, that is classed as enough. Okay then. It's just we didn't get it from the right place. We made it harder for ourselves. Let's uh let's just Get out of the way of him. Right, okay, we've uh, we've got the gear on and everything now, as far as I can tell. We've got enough to get out. Uh, but yeah, I think the, the idea with the lock picking is you just got to kind of keep the, the cursor right on the edge of the bit that you're rotating. Still not going to pretend to be an expert at it, like, but at least we can do it. Good day to you. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to no one, take care now. Absolutely not. Your secret is safe with me. My lips are sealed. We're not going to be able to get a horse, but let's just get out of here while we've got the chance. Yeah. Let's not be suspicious. Right, we're out of the castle. Good. Um, now, I wonder if there's a stables out here we could maybe... I guess not. Right, well, it's going to be a long journey to Scallet. <laughs> so, um, I guess we'll just throw in the best bits. Yeah, that is going to be, that is going to be a long walk. <laughs> uh, but it looks like if we, if we come out here, um, we can just follow the river. We should get to some camp around here. And then if we keep following it, we get to a bridge and then we get to Rovna. And then from Rovna, um, we can just follow the path straight up to Scallets. Hopefully.
Oh, well, at least it hasn't made us walk all the way back. I forgot it lets you cut through a little bit, I think. Okay, that is disgusting. Jesus. Well. No, I don't think we want to loot the dead. Let's let them rest with what little dignity they've got left. Oh look, we found a horse. And that's Scallets. Uh, we might want to save here though, I think. Um, let's see if we can find a bed. Oh, we're in a private area. I'm assuming that means I can't... Oh, we can't save off the bed. Right, we're going to have to use another save your snaps then. Wow, we've only got two of them left. We're going to have to start making some more when we get to uh, Ratai. Ratai, however you say it. That house looks reasonably intact. See what's going on up there. No, it most certainly is not. Look at the state of that. Imagine if you were Henry and you're going back to find your parents. Thinking what state that they're going to be in when you get there. Oh, we've got a live one. Is he, he doesn't look hostile, though. Hey, who's there? Um. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why do I not have my sword? Uh. Where is, uh... I have, uh, I've forgotten how to draw my weapon. There we go, right. Okay, he's, uh... Right, we've got a shield at least. Oh. Be unpredictable. Yep. Stamina's low. Oh, we got him with a stab. Mercy. I yield. Oh. He's dead anyway. Okay, well, we won our first fight, and we uh, we don't appear to be too badly injured. Now, him I will loot. Um, well. They're not really worth much, these. 
but we could use them and uh, well I don't think let's see if they how they compare to our current boots yeah they're, they're not even as good as the ones we got we'll get rid of them right um, now I've lost where Scalot was Um, you could see it from up on that hill. There. That's it there. Okay, and then up to Scarlet again, I guess. Who was that? And why is why is Henry shouting at him? This is probably what we needed that ball for, really. Come on, we can catch him. He's running out of breath as well. Oh, we can tackle him. Oh, he knocked us away. How are them? How are them? Let's see what you got. Oh, he's running away again. Come on, then. Get back here, you. Got him. There we go. Shh, 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 um, shh. Sure, we'll just drop him. I don't really know why Henry shouted at him, but... but yeah, we'll have his dagger. We'll have his groschen. We'll have his linen hood. We'll have his pretzel. Um... Well, the rest of them's not really that good, like, but... Sure, as far as a bandit goes, we'll take everything we can get from them. Oh, that goes over the Waffen frock, so never mind. Well, maybe we can, um... Maybe we can make a part of an outfit or sell it for something. It was somewhere around here because we were near this um, unfortunate gentleman. Here we go again. Hey. Answer to my prayer. Just when I wanted to vent my rage. Well, you come and try, man. Oh no! Oof. Are you gonna try now? No, no, I'm just gonna kill you. Nice. Yes. And that side. Yep, and down the middle. There we go. He's bleeding out. May the Lord have mercy on your soul, bandit. Uh, we'll, we'll have them. I wonder if that axe is worth anything. No, it's not. And we'll stick them on. 
We've actually got some points we can put on strength as well. And we'll get final offer as well that. We are starting to feel hungry, but I don't really feel like this is the right time to be eating. Though I think we do get some combat debuffs. Um if we if we don't. Definitely don't want to be eating around all of these dead bodies though. You're asking for some form of pestilence. Now, um, Henry is on the road up to Scalitz. There's uh, there's a one last little stretch that we need to go through, um, and we've taken refuge from the rain in a barn, and he's going to have a little bite to eat. It's an odd time to be eating, but I guess he uh, he probably just wants to delay going into Scalitz and seeing the damage. Um, I'm not sure whether that food is going to harm us with a beer in red. Let's see. Oh, yes it did. Right, what did it do? Food poisoning. Oh, no. <laughs> we've uh, we've got nothing to help us with that, so I guess we'll have the pretzel and uh, we'll just do what we can. Oh, that looks like it wears off, though, the food poisoning. We may have just made things worse. Okay, I guess we uh, I guess we should continue to Scalus then. Looks like we've got another brigand up there. I wonder if we can whistle at him. Guess not. Hey, who's there? Who's there? Your worst nightmare, man. What's going on there? Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Ow. Ow. Oh. Yeah. Too bad, man. I learned from old Vanyak. Yeah. And low and high. There we go. Take his bandages. Yep, we'll have that. Um, that is probably going to be uh, more to repair than it's actually worth to us. Where does weapon go? Well, never mind. It wasn't very good. Yikes. I don't think we want to walk in that water. We're getting close to the spot where it's passed. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. Abandon like me. Bianca, there she is, poor lass. Supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find. 
find them. I swear it. Just wait a minute. Take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. <clears throat> I'll take this as a keepsake to remember you by, my dearest. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and I'll take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Why, why can I hear a dog? Is it a feral dog or...? <laughs> Looks like the Deutsch didn't clear the dung away. I think we need to find the dog that's barking. God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Oh, Mutt. And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? He's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing with you? What are you doing? I want to bury my parents. I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. What happened to Teresa? Do you know what happened to Teresa in the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. 
We're all emotional here, so we're going to let that slide. Um, how did you get away? How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? All right, you're a pain. Lend me that spade. Did you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it? Anyway? It's for Sir Radzig. My father forged it for Sir Radzig. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that... And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father wanted to be buried here. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Okay. Well, the only option we got left is, uh... I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. Oh. Oh, we don't want to lose to this guy. Oh, come on. I am not losing to this guy. No chance. Jab him to bits. Give him a kick. Oh. Come on. We need to dodge him. We need to dodge him. Yeah, block. Oop. Ooh. Where's that where's that crosshair come from? I thought you didn't get it on uh, on hardcore. I guess it's not the normal one, like can the dog get him? Go on. Go on dog, get him. Kick, jab. Oh he needed. Let's give him a oh. Alright, next block he's getting a he's getting a left hook. Give him a jab. Oh, oh. Why is this guy so tough? He's meant to be a wimp. Oh, we got him good there. He's run away. But we've got his spear, so... That'll do. That's right. Turn tail and run, you bastard. And that was a harder fight than I expected. Can, can I do anything about this poor dog? Easy there, boy. You know me. Your good master won't be new to me. What's he got? I mean... Poor dog. Go on then, we'll... Uh... I wonder if I can, um, I wonder if I can give any of this meat to the dog. No, I can't. I suppose the poor thing's just going to stay here then. Let's take a marigold concoction. Marigold decoction, apparently. That is a healing potion, isn't it? Right, yeah, okay. I really feel bad for that dog. I wish I could take it with us. To think just a couple of days ago, I was coming up here with a nice cold ale for me dog. And he was working the forge. Everything seemed fine. Now look at it. Well... There's the linden tree. This is a good place. You're gonna like it. Oh, 
Oh, the dog's here. Some of that salami, man. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> he always reminds me of Vinnie Jones. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. You're in for me alone. Kill him, runt! I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Okay. Um. Oh. Well, that didn't last long. is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Hey! <laughs> the games are over.
Oh, we're having a, a fever dream. Save your parents. Oh, at least I've got a sword. Can't say anything though. What? Where? Oh. Huh? Did I get him? I think I got him. I don't know where these are, guys. Wow, this is trippy as hell. Where are you, Ma? Is this the way this is supposed to look? Or has something gone wrong? Now hold on, wait, that's that's the tailor thing. So the my parents must be like up this way. That's the stocks. So they must be like up here. And there's the castle. Some help. Get up, Henry, wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Are you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. Must have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. We slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. So what were you doing in Scalitz? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. So how did you find me, then? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. 
I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Talking for me? Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? Sir Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Well, I guess I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. You've got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Where am I? And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rete Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. You insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of the coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you my life. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Okay, um, I don't know if this saved, so we're going to quickly go ahead and make sure that the game is saved. Did that count? I don't know if that actually saved. It didn't say it did, so I'm going to assume that it didn't. So I guess that means we have to use another save your schnapps. Um, well. <laughs> oh, we don't have any. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Well, um, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do about that then. I guess we'll talk to the miller and we'll see if he can tell us something. Hello there, I'm Henry. Thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo, and talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Um... 
What would you need from me? What would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Nah, man, you're barking up the wrong tree, my lad. I'm not sure dealing with corpses is a job for me. I don't want that kind of stain on my conscience or my reputation. Find someone else. Suit yourself. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back and quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Believe me. Good luck to you. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Well, we're going to have to figure out what we can do about peeing him. Um. Right. Um, and we need to figure out how we can save as well. Let's get some food first. Oh. She said it was on the table. Yeah, it's still not saving. I'm guessing because it's not an own bed. How we're going to save. Um, what about all of that groshing that I, I had with me? Is that in this chest? Um, it is. Right, good. Okay, well, we're going to take all. Um, and... We'll get dressed. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and I guess we'll go and rent a room at the inn then. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll try and figure out what we can do about him. Um, okay, let's uh, let's go up to Ratai then. What a bloody beautiful place this is! Ah, here we go. Hello there, good sir. God be with you, good sir. Oh, we can't... We can't ask him for a bed. Farewell. Good God, what happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. Well, it's a long story. Um, Again, we can't... Oh, this is a real conundrum, isn't it? Okay, this inn I think we can stay at. At least I hope. Um, it's way outside of town. But if it's the only option we've got to save the game, what difference... To... Yeah, lodgings. Okay, good. Good day, innkeeper. My respects to you. A place to sleep? Is there somewhere I could sleep here? Certainly. For how long? Um. Well, let's do one night for now. Just the one night. All right. Money up front, though. Two Groshen. Um. Let's see if we can get them down to one. Hmm. That's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Yeah, we got no chance of getting one off, and we'll we'll try. We've got that perk now. We'll try one point five. We'll be a bit cheeky. Agree. More. Okay, he's come down to one point eight. We'll uh, we'll go. We'll go one point six. My last offer. That's not enough. Well, it's a good thing we got that perk then, isn't it? Um, right, well, we best meet him at once. 1.7 then. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. I'm sure it is. Um, have you got any food and all? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I have salami and stuff?
Yes, I did. Dried meat. Um, the raw stuck is completely useless, but... Oh! Yeah, that's... Oh, I'm an idiot. Of course, we had saving schnapps because I didn't collect my stuff when I tried to save. Um, well, we've rented a room now anyway, so I guess we don't have to use them. We'll get the... Uh, we'll eat the salami and... How, how is our hunger doing with that? It's gone. Brilliant. Okay, let's go and get our bed and we'll find a place where we can save. Must be this one, is it? Looks like it. It's a cosy little room, this. Yes, we can sleep and save here. Um, it, it's getting on a bit, to be honest. We might as well just uh, sleep until five. Okay, brilliant. The game's saved. We need to go and get some food again. Um, and we need to figure out how we're going to make some money. But for now... Um... It's a new day. We've made it out of Scalots. We've begun a new life in Ratai. Um, we need to go see Sir Radzig. And that's going to have to be the end of the episode. So uh, it's been a really long one. Um, I've tried to make it as, uh, as viewable as possible with all the travelling and everything. Considering we don't have a horse. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye bye now.